we are final top three tables in the one million buy-in bounty builder Such a good chip lead. Chip graph is crazy, but not bad. So it's been a pretty good ride, even though this is the third bullet. Uh, Paul here has three bet jammed to a couple of my opens, which I have folded to every time. The last one being ace three of hearts. He jammed for 60 bigs to my three and a half big blind open this guy's on the button that's nothing looks like a steal value I can be King Jack I can beat Ace High <clears throat> kind of stuck over here because I'm playing two tables at once now and I was doing pretty well in the two and a half million uh, bounty builder getting short stack now done at 14 big blinds, I'm half of average stack, um, I did make enough knockouts for 4.4 million, so I'm in the profit, let's see if this guy jams on me again, jam it Paul, or have some, have one piece of that. Have one piece. Tighten up a little bit. Not a whole lot of reason to get involved here. Top three tables. I kind of want to. I'm kind of ready to bust out on the other table so I can focus more on this. This one. As we try to run to the final table and win it all. Yes. Collected more bounties on the other table. Collected two bounties there. Um, both only for half a million each. But now we're sitting at an average stack. 34 out of 89 here. First out of 24s.
just gonna run down. Alright. Surprise, June Moon with a 13 million in bounties collected. Uh, it'd be nice to make final table here too. Um, but I don't know. I'm doing, I, I just started, decided to start the recording for the million dollar run. And what if I make both of them? Um, should I have this video jumping back and forth between two tables the way my stream is going, actually?
Okay, so I've decided I'm just going to jump back and forth between two of them on one screen as I have been doing before I started recording. So if this ends up on YouTube, um, you just get a peek at both tables, but it's probably um, maybe bad luck to have such a big chip lead in the final three tables. Um, been here before and didn't even make final tables so I'm gonna try to play that right and here um, my play is a little bit more limited so maybe I don't have to focus over here too much uh, having the big stack um, surely I should tighten up for top three uh, tables there's a, it's, it's kind of weird because it's like two different strategies I'm running for each tournament. And... Um, I've got to be careful to not do something on one table that I should be doing on the other. And there's a jam, I probably should not call that. 16k so I barely cover him his bounty's not very big I like this bounty but I don't cover him and I've got a weak ace so fold it looks like Sully Dog here has a decision and will not play and I'm probably folding this too so real tight <clears throat> adjusting to a tight strategy over here tight aggressive of course but mostly just tight up to this point I have been pretty aggressive with this tournament um, at least these two to my left have been at this table for a while Gives up with no diamond, four diamonds on the board. And what is that? Oni over here uh, on the straight draw hits the three. Okay. going for it. He's king and the jacks. Good flip. Oh. Would have been a good one for me. probably just bet small again but let's see if they come big they might come big they called so fast on the flop I don't really believe they have anything and that may be a sign that they wanted to see the one last diamond okay so they didn't have a diamond they're cautious about me thankfully that diamond on the river actually saved me money because they were not comfortable enough to bet This one, this table here is getting to the point uh, I'm looking for a hand to jam with. And I should get action with a 3.3 million bounty on my head. I'm already in profit, um, about 3 million on this tournament, so I don't mind busting out before making it into the payouts. Um, kind of want to focus on this one tournament anyway, so bust out will be fine with me just gonna jam here with the ace nine good luck 
King 10. And we hit the ace, and we got the check mark. Alright. There's life. There's now life on this one. I usually don't like to play two tables at once because I feel like I'm just playing in too much of an automatic mode, but I like to pay attention to just one table and pay attention to the players. Um, try to gauge some weakness in some bots that I might try to bluff. I have been sneaking in a bluff here and there on both of these tournaments, but hasn't been, hasn't been very often. I haven't had to bluff very much. Um, that's unfortunate. <clears throat> okay, Paul over here looks like he's tightened up. And it looks like he's trying to get aggressive now. And since I checked the turn and he checks the river, he probably doesn't have anything. Check the turn so fast, uh, I doubt he had a king. He would probably want to bet that. So what is the average stack now? 81k, and he's got less than that. So yeah, he's in jammer fold mode. It's probably a good hand, though, you know. He's folded the last few hands. Uh, I'm not going to play that one. The sailboats. Should I be raising? Let's set mine. I don't want to, like, open raise and then have Paul jam or anything like that, anybody jam, and even if I was in isolation with them, um, yeah, playing out a board with just a small pair of fours, not really my prerogative. Okay. Too much action for the fours. Ace-King would not have folded. Glad to see Paul uh, so wounded with the 2.3 million bounty. Unfortunately, I don't have a hand. But we will limp and try to get some of that action. Oh yes, if a 6 peels off, I might even get a bigger bounty. I need a 6 on the river. Give me the 6. <clears throat> Not happening. Okay, easy fold. I have 9 high. And he has jack high. Jack 10. See, that guy, you get a side pod, but... What, what was the point there? Um, okay. So he's not, he's not thinking on a strategy of just trying to get a player eliminated and yeah, it's okay. It's nice to learn about these other players, their approach. So 
So there's a little bit of defense here. I do have a big stack, so... I hate to give this guy more chips, but I really want... I feel like he's just fighting for an isolation here. Uh, and there's... This is how I lost a little bit of a bigger pot earlier. So what am I losing here? 14 bigs, if I call. There's just... I want that bounty money. I don't, I don't think I have the best hand, but it might hold up. You never know. The three four, the three four does it. No, I mean the uh, ace three does it. <laughs> what a call! Faded a lot there. Didn't he have two spades? Oh no, he just had the one. And the ace queen. It's all right. So, what is this? This is the million. Alright, I'm getting my tables mixed up now. I'm just gonna raise this up. I'd rather just have the pot now. Well, make him fight for it. If you got a king queen, do you believe me? I mean, that is a. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I would have rather won that, but can't complain. Still sitting healthy. Over here. Winning good. Uh, in for 3 million. Currently 7.8 plus 1.3 so far. First place chip lead. Can't complain too much. Another person's about to go out. Deuce misses, they're flush. Slow rolled me. Oh, he slow rolled me. If anybody jams, of course he's getting called if he jams. Okay, I'd rather rather just have the blinds. Here is probably not the best place to land, but look at that flop. Okay, we got a flush draw. And we're just gonna let the pot build for whoever calls. No need to raise here. Haven't made the hand. And the eight looks good here, but Okay, now we're open-ended. Let the pot build. Is he gonna wrap the ace? I don't know. I should probably fold here, because I don't have a whole lot of good, comfortable cards to hit. Uh, I am in the blind, and he did limp. That kind of looks like a steal attempt, to be honest. I'm just gonna let him have it. And I've missed everything over here, huh? I'm 10 high? I'm glad I didn't go crazy with that. And we all had clubs. I'm glad the clubs didn't come. Six of hearts, nine of clubs. Did I have that same hand over here? Six of hearts, nine of clubs. On both tables? No. Okay, I'm losing my mind. It's not much of a bounty at all. And it looks like we're about to go... I don't know, we need 16 players for two tables. I think the strategy really, really changes. Oh, I had a club and a five. Nope. The strategy really changes when it's two tables. Especially when the... Okay, we're down to two tables. Especially when people start disappearing from the tables. We can get five-handed, six-handed. Trying to get down to one table. At one point in time, there should be a four-handed table, right? Uh, no. Well, maybe. I can't remember.
tight. Play tight. This is, uh, you know, last two tables, but even this table here is kind of treated like a final table. Ooh, ooh, what is this? This is juicy. Do we squeeze? Let's just, let's just do that. Oh, we're killed. Yes, we're killed. No problem. Get to focus on one table. Didn't make the money there. But earned enough. This guy here a little impatient. Losing his patience. when I think about that the all in and just the call um I guess he was okay with letting me in the pot so that way he has a better better pot for if his hand is good all in hindsight This guy? No. And what do we do here? How big of a chip lead do we have? Almost 100k to the guy next to me, and he's in the pot. I should be raising or checking? Remember, that's the second. Oh, yes. I have the nuts. Bluff me. Bluff me all in. Jam it. Rip it. How aggressive are you? Does not get through. Still complaining? 
Yeah, I kind of wish I never played that hand, but you gotta look for these little little spots. And you know, when the cards are turned over on the flop, 40% equity was not bad. A little bit like a flip. Not really um, wanting to be on that side of the flip, but eh, it was okay. Gotta gamble a little bit in some of these spots. Getting the aces cracked. Morally, uh, brings you down. It's all right. Um, so average stack is 142k. I'm a little bit above that. If we could just get to the final table soon, um, I'll feel a little bit better. Who was that guy? He has an ace and he was thinking about betting in, but he, he knows we'll, we'll just fold, so he's deciding to check it. At this point, if he has an ace, he should try to get money in. I'm not sure what he's thinking about. <clears throat> but maybe he's purposely taking his time because he's trying to annoy this guy over here. And I wonder, this guy should bet now, probably. We've all checked it. Just wonder what he's got. I wonder if sixes are good. I, I don't want to bet it. I have no kicker. I feel like he's going to check in, so we'll get a chance for a showdown. I think even if you had a nine, I would check. Well, as he did. And he does have an ace. Never bet it. It's kind of weird. I don't know. I kind of hope everybody folds and let me take this guy on heads up. He doesn't have a big bounty or anything. But I like the Jack-10 suited. Just trying to weasel this guy in a little bit. I have a straight flush draw. And now I have top hair. Wow. If you got the seven, you got me. Jack nine beats me. I'm blocking that, I guess. I don't know. like I was trying to steal there, so... Hey, I'm back in first place with the chip lead. Not all hope is lost. Got an ace. Let's see if we can steal blinds or something. I really did not want to give this guy chips, but it looks like he's playing pretty tight, so... We got the ace of clubs here. hate to double that guy up just because he slow rode me in the past but it does look like he might just take his time and let it check he's purposely being slow and I will try to get a little bit of chips in there 10k I guess that's not a lot 10% Trying to keep the pot small, after all, I have nothing. Imagine he has king, queen of clubs. Queen eight, seven eight. All right. Get the queens. Hopefully no ace or king shows up. <clears throat> Obviously I'm calling a jam. All right. Suited ace is good. If they limp, I, I, I raise a little bit and hopefully just take the blinds down. If 
feel like these guys are looking for some premiums. As long as they don't get them, it should be okay. He looks like he might have picked up a hand this time. He's thinking, okay. I wonder if he had a weak king like me. This guy here, I mean, if they fold to me, I'll put them all in. It's because the king high is good over a random hand. I'm gonna pop it. If he jams, he has to worry. He has to worry about me having an ace, and he has to worry about me re jamming if this guy jams. Okay, so that's not a good sign. It's alright. We invested very little, and we got to chip away at this stack. <clears throat> And here I'll probably let these two fight it out, or whoever fight it out, even though I'm on the button. Back to second place, so it looks like Pauly has risen up the ranks. How is this playing? Are they checking? Check, check. Check. Three checks. People get um, a little bit more readable at this stage sometimes. Uh, they're a little trappy, but also they don't want to bet unless they actually have something. Um, I don't know. It's hard to say because it really depends on the players and their moods. Some people will bet at any little draw that they have just to have a reason to bet and not too bad of a strategy. Okay, this has got to be some kind of value bet. I mean, it's only one, but maybe he had a pair of kings. Maybe he has a small pair of eights, four, queen, or a jack. Uh, I feel like he has better nice high. Almost like the uh, ace is getting cracked didn't happen, right? Yeah, I'm not gonna get involved in this this orbit or in this spot. Will he call with any two? Less than 20k more, but. 25% of his stack. No, he's not calling. I'm go for the two and a half. He doesn't jam. I imagine these guys would have to have a pretty good hand if they jam because they don't want to bust out before the final table. And maybe I can get a walk here. No, we're going to play a hand, but we're going to play it with a bunch of checks or minimum bets. Okay, we got that one through. He's playing pretty tight. He wants to hang on to every chip he can. Less than 20 bigs. This is a terrible time to have Ace-10.
just because they both limped. Oh, maybe not the terrible time. They're probably both folding now. Unless one one of them has an ace. It's the only way they're calling is if they have an ace. And if they're... They really probably shouldn't be calling. They should probably just be jamming if they have one. And I wondered if he would have anything else. Ace five. Oh no, club. Oh. Hey, we faded it. Got another bounty for a million. Made the final table. Okay, so these guys in purple. Um, I have previously made a final table with them before. Anybody I make a final table with gets a little bit of a label, color label. And I can't believe I actually got three colors there. That is not a good flop for eights. I probably could have bet and they, they might have went away, you never know, but these chips are valuable um, at this level. And uh, with three callers, most likely somebody has flopped a higher pair. <clears throat> Besides those three, there's ace, king, and ten that is higher than my eight. So if they don't have a pair, they definitely have a draw. Okay, so that's a two big blind and a call. I'm not going to call. And then watch the turn come eight and the river come another eight. Because <laughs> that's the way uh, they like to do you. So this would be a hard, hard call, even if I you know, seen the turn, because there's possible flush, possible straight. Um, the ratio, the way the hand played out, I really don't think a set is good, especially bottom set. <clears throat> okay, what's this guy doing? He's probably just draining his clock. I don't know. I don't think he's calling. This guy's probably folding too. If he's got a 10, he might call, but... That's it. Oh, okay. He's got to have a 10 or a flush draw. Uh, he's got the nut flush. He's got the lower flush. Uh, and just like that, two players eliminated. So... Guaranteed at least 5 million. We've already made 10 million. We're in for three. But you know we're here for first. We are here for first. Let's go for the two and a half. See, there's nine viewers, so. So what are you limping with on the button? If he doesn't have an ace or a king. Two might be good. A nine, no. Small blind. Do you think he has an ace? He bets full pot. <clears throat> so. Maybe he just wants to steal the pot if he just min raised. Do you think he min raised with sevens or anything? I don't think so, but okay. He just wants to take the pot. You got it. I'll wait for a better spot. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
protect. I can't believe we just got this guy calling. Who knows what he's got? Okay, well, I at least got a side pot. Diamond. Oh. I at least got a side pot. Seventy-two point four, seventy-six seven. So okay, I actually did make money on that hand, and I put a hurting uh, to his stack, which I like. And we got one limper, four hundred k there. Pot size raise, and we got a call or limp call from early position. Checking, must have been checking an ace. This guy over here, I think, is just getting aggressive. He's he's getting a little bit looser with his opens and things like that. But most of these players, I expect to um, have an ace in their hand whenever they get involved out of position. Fight, FCR. Okay, we got an all-in 1.7 bounty, and he's dominated, and he's gone. What? Okay, no chop. Five is not a good sign for for me. He's to my left, which I don't. It kind of tightens me up a little bit. Oh, we got two limpers. Okay. See what what their strategy is here. Bet the pot. Okay, this one here is caged up. This one here is caged up. Uh, this guy is surprisingly being active but not aggressive. And me, I'm kind of just chilling actually. I'm just waiting this out a little bit. Okay, this might be worth a. Uh blind steal from the cutoff. If I'm gonna open a raise, I at least want it to be a playable hand after the flop just in case they called because I'm I'm opening a you know I'm opening a small got Herb Chief over here in the big blind. Uh, I wonder if we can get through all the way to him and just get heads up with him. I don't... Okay, so he folded, but I mean, he doesn't even really have a bounty that's worth it. Chipping away, chipping away at this guy. With a gutter. I'm surprised that was not a bet there. I 
you gotta worry about the ace a little bit. I don't want to bluff. Because this guy limped in from out of position. This one limped on the button. King high. King eight. Oh, maybe I could have stole it. Chicken, chicken. Oh, wait a minute. I probably should have just limped that. Probably should have just limped that. Under the gun limp jam. Under the gun limp jam. You see? Now we're both... We both got squeezed, really. I squeezed myself. Oh, but I induced action. Oh, and I would have made a straight. I definitely played that hand wrong. Because Ace-King definitely probably would have stayed to see the turn. Ah. Oh. Alright, take a little break.
All right, we're back. Okay, suited king on the button. We'll give it a shot. Herb Chief in the big blind next hand. And surprisingly, um, it's still very possible that he'll just fold. I would think any two. Any two when you're in the big blind. It's a good one. Um, <clears throat> not quite worth it being under the gun. Good luck, but not really. Five from the small blind, okay. And then there was five. Next payout, nine million. We have a pair. The whole table is linked in though. Maybe she went for a two big blind bet there. If anybody gets too aggressive here, I mean, it could spell disaster. Six is good? No, it is not. <laughs> it's calling with a three. Uh, I should have put more pressure on the sevens. Let's make up for uh, those lost chips here. Okay, that's not good. Um, big blind. I did raise. Seems a little trappy. Seems like he could have a nine. I mean, just gonna let it go. I don't even have a good eight. Seven kicker. So it's very possible in my mind that, you know, he had a hand like this. Or I'm waiting to have a hand like this to make that move for when he does jam. And, you know, this jam here would not be something I want to see. Okay, I'd rather have that. <clears throat> Two million bounty. Ace Queen will take it. And then there was four. What do you have? No, ace, ace seven. That's why it's so important to have an ace. It's so hard to make a pair sometimes. And I think they're gonna use their positioning here. Well, I think they're folding now. Okay, limp fold. Kind of thought to myself, whatever the board is, they're going to use their position. If we check to them, they're just betting and taking the pot. So maybe I'll do the same thing. I'll limp. Can we see a flop three way? And will they 
really be worried? Will they be worried I have a king? Do they have a small pair? I think they would have had a small pair there. Let's chip away. Queen is good. 6-9. They, they did. Small pair. And what would I call a jam here? What would I call a jam? A king on the turn would be nice. And go half pot. Okay. Well, now I gotta check, because, you know, realize my equity. And they're betting. So, cards all over the board there. What do I beat? Um, well, I only beat bluffs. But it feels like they could have a pair. Any pair. Any pair is good. Do I re-raise? And steal? Would they give me credit? I'm not gonna do it now, I guess. I wonder if they fold the turn, if I bet. away if you limp and we got a nine ah I was kind of hoping for a jam there limped pots it is Line, huh? <clears throat> now we got a lead. Okay, looks like they're going. With it. Hopefully, they don't have a three. Might just chop though. Hopefully they don't have clubs. Okay, we've chipped away at them successfully. See a flop four ways? No, a jam and a call. Well, obviously, I'm folding. And he should fold. Good spot, and look at that. I'm running sailboats. Would have made the best hand. <clears throat> Only if they played trappy and allowed me to see the turn in river would they have lost to me. I really shouldn't raise them. But Polly and I should know that we're trying to chip away over here. 72k. I put in 25, so it's only 50 more. Any two cards live? I'd hate to double them up with this one though. Um, he knows. He knows. He's probably out next, so he's, he might be choosing any two to jam with. I'm going to get a larger sample of what he's doing, and then I will discredit his jams. Okay. Oh my gosh, well... I hate to be chicken, you know. I don't want to triple the guy up, though. And we are heads up. We are heads up. Jam. Tell me you don't like playing heads up and you're just going to jam hands.
Is Ace King good here? <clears throat> if I check, will they try to uh, bluff me on the river for a steal? <laughs> Unless they just have a queen, but uh, you know, I'm calling here. And the hand is good. So, being out of position, should I raise raise bigger when I'm out of position? And then half pot? We've got some work to do. Go for the two and a half. No bluff there, huh? They must have showdown value. Deuces. Mentally, I may frustrate them, you know? Mm, that might be too big, because yeah, they might do something like that. And then, <clears throat> I'm just going to fold. But I'm trying to uh, induce them into uh, doing that while I have a hand like Ace-King suited, or not suited. Because they might just get frustrated with my antics. I should almost do like the opposite kind of thing, you know, I should be limping. With the strong hands. Should be limping with the strong hand so I can actually play boards with them, but then, you know, raising with the junk. And I think this time we'll see. You know, okay, so they're going to limp a lot on the button. I'm trying to engage their strategy here. And I don't know if they have a king or not. We're going to go low and see how they, they react to it. a jam. Okay. <clears throat> Are they being trappy? Do they have two spades and they just got there? Did they have the king the whole time? Kind of wonder. Um, this doesn't feel like a good call to be honest. Oh, I hate to have second place. He has a four. He has a four. Alright, GG. Made the wrong call. So that's that.